Live life, my people never seen life Seems like we just living trying to get right Dreams like I could boss up the street life But these visions fall short when living in the street life Every day we wake up, we live in constant fears Treading in the same waters we done tread for years Shot down in the streets we used to hang from trees It's 2020 and we still trust our enemies George Floyd and Amari just another case That God used to put our enemies in our face But we don't listen no with some simple jokes, the scripture says two thirds of us gotta go. Fighting for my people, you out here begging for justice. K kings of the earth, no business begging for nothing. Hands up, don't shoot, I'm disgusted. Elijah called fire from the heavens with the sons of the prophets. This script shows you what a man's supposed to have. Bring it up. Meaning that you cannot be a bum. Right. Because many women will open their damn legs to bum, and I'll be like, yo, hey, what are you doing? You know he didn't have a job, but yet you opening your legs. Now, since he can't support you, now you pissed off. Ain't no good black man. That's your fault. Chief. That's right. Wait. The book of Sirach, chapter 29, verse 21. Bring it up. The chief thing in life. The chief thing in life. You men listen. The chief thing in life. This million man march, because... I'm pretty sure that many of them men do not have these things, right? It's water. It's water. You must be able to pay water because you know you cannot collect it from the sky and set up your own reservoir. Right. Okay? They will charge you for that. They'll put you in jail. Right. Okay, five to ten years. And you got to pay a fine, right? And bread. And bread. You must be able to provide food, okay? Meaning that you have to work. The Bible shows you how to be a man. Right. Y'all just haven't been taught that. Right. So, you see the address on the back of the flyer? While he find this script, you see the address on the back of the flyer? Make sure y'all come in and learn how to be women also, because the Bible goes over that too. But right now, I got to, I got to adjust the men, because the men are the king. These are the gods in the society, all right? That's right. If they are not right, y'all will not get it right. Read. They're not going to govern you correctly. You understand? That's right. Okay, come on, read. The book of 2 Thessalonians, chapter 3, verse 10. Bring, Bring it out. For even when we were with you, this we commanded you. You men listen, this is what the Most High commanded us. Wait. That any would not work, neither should he eat. So, if you don't work, you don't eat. Okay. What Sirach 29 and 21 is talking about the chief things of life, right? We're going to go back there. Come on. I just wanted you to hear that verse because many men be like, hey, well, I can't find a job. Guess what? You can find something to do. Because I'm pretty sure, hey, if you had to find a way to get to that woman that you want to get to, right. you're going to find the money. Right. right. That's right. Okay, come on, read. Right. The book of Sirach, chapter 29, verse 21. Read uh -huh. out. The chief thing for life is water. Water. And bread. And bread. And clothing. And clothing. Hey, sisters, if that man ain't working, don't mess with him. I'm telling you, because he has to provide you with water, okay, bread, and clothing. Right. You can't come out here dressed up naked. The most high, hey, that is forbidden too. A matter of fact, hold that. Okay, 1 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 9. Bring it on! Let's make sure that, hey, we know this. So you cannot tell them, hey, I want to go in the store and I want to buy that tight dress or those pants. Women, you can't wear pants. Okay? okay? Do y'all understand? And I'm going to show you that scripture in the Bible. Bring right. it out! Come on, right. The book of 1 Timothy chapter 2 verse 9. Bring it out! In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. What is modest apparel, sister? Covering up, not showing those curves, right? So, y'all remember that, all right? This is the law that the Most High commanded us to do, okay? And the men supposed to govern you with that. So when you go in the store and you pick out that little skippy dress, he, he like, hell no. You're gonna wear something that, hey, that cover you up. Right. You understand? Okay, come on. Cause this is something that we need. In order to get out of this captivity, we need it, okay? Whenever you got it, read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. Yeah. The woman shall not wear that which pertain him unto a man. Okay, read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. To get the whole understanding, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. What is a woman's garment? There you go. So, a woman should not put on that which pertain to a man. Now, what is a man's attire? And if y'all, hey, if y'all out, y'all don't know, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you because I know you know. Teach. There you go, pants. Because guess what? That zipper, what you got to pull out there? Bring it out. Hey, you better not be pulling nothing out there. 
See? Don't pull nothing out there. Guess what? The Bible is saying you can't repent. Men wear shirts. Yeah, hey, we can wear shirts, but you say blouse. A man better not put on no blouse. This last part is crucial because guess what? Okay, just looking at a rat, right? Will a rat lay with another rat if you don't have a place to stay? How many people know? Yo, y'all look at the uh, animal planet and stuff like that. Right, sis, hey, she would not lay with him, right? She would. Yes, yes, yes. So why do our women lay with a man and stay with his mom? He don't have his own place. Why he well, stay with him? Come on, Ray. And clothing and a house to cover shame. In a house to cover shame. A house or an apartment that is his. Okay? You can't be staying with his boys and have you up in there. No. No. Because things can happen with that situation. No. Okay? So, these are things that a man have to be able to do for you. The Book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 1. This it out. This is for the woman and the man, all right? Come on, right. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, uh -huh. that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice. So, to make sure that you keep these commandments, the Most High is saying, guess what? Give your body as a sacrifice. We don't sacrifice animals no, no more, right? Christ died for that. So, hey, that's done. You have to sacrifice your bodies now. The Most High wants you to keep these laws and commandments, meaning no smoking to defile your temple, Whoa. okay? No drunkenness right. by men or women, not that over excessive drinking, okay? You must do these things, okay? I'm gonna get you the script that tells you that also. Oh, but yeah, finish that. Holy, acceptable unto God, which is, your, which is your reasonable service. This is your reasonable service, okay? This is the most reasonable thing that you can do for the Most High God, to show him that you love him. You know what I mean? I know y'all see it. Guess what? Hey, we all great. Y'all see it. In the sports world, hey, we take over. In politics, we take over. And we could. Guess what? We weren't. We weren't even allowed to read at one point in time. But yet now, since we don't learn, we taking over society. Why the hell you think the kid? Well, the most is killing you because you're not keeping his command. That's what it is. Come on, read. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter three, verse sixteen. Oh, no. Know ye not that you are the temple of God? Hey. Remember, you're supposed to give your body as a reasonable sacrifice. Come on. And that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. And the Most High dwell in you. The Israelites now. I'm not talking about all nations, just these people right here. Okay, come on, Ray. If any man defile the temple of God. If any man defile the temple, okay, that overcessive drinking, that wearing pants, that disobeying the laws and commandments in any way, Bro. shape, Teach. any way, shape, or form, Ray. Him shall God destroy. Him shall God kill. If you, okay, I just want you to think back. Just think about all the people that died. Were they wearing fringes? You know the Most High ordained us to do that? You know what these do to us? They make us think back on the Most High commandments before you commit an act, okay? That's what these fringes are for. Oh, on that flyer, okay, it's, hey, it's in there, okay? It is to bring you back to remembering. When you're thinking about, hmm, maybe I want to sleep with this sister but I know I don't have the chief things of life, right? Guess what? You put touch these commandments, be like, mm, I don't want to do that because then I have to marry you and I don't have no means of taking care of her. So now I'm sinning against the most high God. You see what I'm saying? At the point. Um, I think you asked about assessment, right? right? Yeah, okay. Give me, um, get me uh, first, uh, first Timothy uh, 5 and 23 because she asked, can I drink a little? It ain't nothing wrong with drinking a little. Just don't drink to the point that now you're out of your mind. Okay? Right. You are intoxicated. You're not so. You know what I'm saying? Read. Yes, sir. The book of 1 Timothy, chapter 5, verse 23. Uh -huh. Drink no longer water. Drink no longer? Hey, now, it ain't telling you that you're not supposed to drink water. You know what I'm saying? He is saying here that you can do this. Read. But use it as a little wine for thy stomach's sake. For your stomach's sake, because guess what? A, um, a little bit of wine can cure some things in your body. Right, right. Okay? But don't overdo it, because if you overdo it, now you're in sin. Drunkenness, you know what? Give me that in Sirach. The book of Sirach, chapter 31, verse 27. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Wine is as good as life to a man, if it be drunk moderately. So, if you drink it responsibly, it's good to you, okay? Come on. 
what life is in to a man that is without wine. Mm -hmm. For it was made to make men glad. It was made to make you merry. Christ drunk wine, do you remember? What was his first miracle? Yeah, so rock. His, uh, just read the scripture again. The book of Sirach, chapter 31, verse 27. Okay. You know? Just pick up where you left off. What is life then to a man that is without wine? Uh -huh. For it was made to make men glad. Mm -hmm. Wine miserably drunk and in season bringing gladness of the heart. It's good for you, come on. And cheerfulness of the mind. There you go. Right. But wine drunken with excess makes bitterness of the mind. When you overdo it and make bitterness of the mind. What right. does that mean? Now you want to fight everybody. Have you ever seen one of those people that the minute that they get, get um the minute that they get drunk, you can tell them they're drunk. Yep. Because hey, it's just like a damn other spirit jump on them. Right. They want to fight everybody. Even when, hey, you you can just say, excuse me. Yeah. Teach. <laughs> what are you talking about? Excuse me for? What hey, what's wrong with you? Bring hey, hey, we, hey, our people do not do it, sis. Do not, hey, do not, do not overindulge in wine. Right. right. With that, brawling and quarreling. Brawling and quarreling. That's what that is talking about. Okay? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.